Welcome back to the show. Dixie Gerkman is the non-clinical director of operations for MultiCare's primary health clinics. And her group is bringing a new convenience to families in the South Sound whose schedules may be a little busy to make it to their regular doctor's office. Welcome, Dixie. Thank you, thank you for having me here. Would you give me a little background on the clinics that bring the registered nurse practitioners into retail pharmacies? The Express clinics are called retail clinics and they're across the country. Now there's about a thousand. They started several years ago, about seven or eight years ago. And they started out with, I think, 20 the first year. And now there's about a thousand as of 2008. So it is a new concept, but it is catching on. The growth has been pretty phenomenal the last couple years. Most of the clinics across the country in these retail settings use nurse practitioners. They are master degree nurse practitioners. Uh, there's, they have a national certification mm -hmm. and they can see, they can actually practice independently and see a wide variety of conditions. Our hours uh, that work in the express clinics our family practice nurse practitioners. So they can see sore throats and treat you, actually they can see um, earaches, sore throats, bronchitis, uh, we do sports physicals, there's a wide variety. Oh, that's a great um, we, on, we do only see children two and above because of just some infant issues that we feel that's safer for them to be seen with their pediatrician or family practice doctor. And while this, this concept is, has started throughout the country, this is a new, new thing for the South Sound. This is, we were the first system, uh, first retail clinics in Pierce County. They did have some in um, King County. Minute clinics were up there, and I believe Take Care is another system that had some. But we are the first in Pierce County. We, I think MultiCare uh, likes to bring in innovation. We are one of the first clinics around the Puget Sound to bring in electronic medical record. And the express clinics is something new. We felt access is an issue around the sound for patients. Uh, these clinics are open seven days a week and they're open until um, eight o'clock, Monday through Friday in the evening and six on Saturday and Sunday. So there's an access, you, it's convenient for patients, um, great care, we monitor the quality they are connected to primary care clinics as well as urgent care clinics as well as our hospital because the whole system now is on electronic medical record. So that's pretty exciting and brings I wanna, the quality. I wanna get back to the electronic medical okay. records, okay. but first, how, how does the express clinics, do they serve a different need than say the urgent care or is it a step down equal to the, the care? What, what need was being filled with these? Okay, well the quality of care is, is the same, but the urgent care sees more challenging um, conditions. So in the express clinic, because we have a limited, we have one exam room and they, we have an ex, uh, exam table, a sink, um, the electronic medical record, but we, we don't have a lot of lab there, we don't have radiology, so we really, as in across the country, keep the services limited to the simple conditions that can be easily re easily treated. Then if a patient comes in and it's something more serious, abdominal pain, uh, some of the more serious, um, we can see bronchitis, but there may be anything relating to heart. We will send them either to the urgent care, which are convenient and close by also, or if it's very serious, a heart condition, then we would send them to the emergency room. Or if they need primary care and it's really more of a chronic condition, we, tr we do uh, funnel them into a primary care wherever possible. Do you think the convenience of these clinics has increased the number of people utilizing medical services or is it easing the demand on some of the other uh, mm -hmm. urgent care clinics or maybe the emergency department? Well, I would say all of the above. Uh, we, I think 33% of our patients are new to the whole system. So whether they have not had a primary care somewhere else or they're switching, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But that is quite a few new. The rest are relieving some of the urgent cares and the ED as well. So, you know, 70, whatever that is, 67% uh, are existing established patients. So we really do all of that. And it's so affordable. It's $59 for most services, um, which is 
about half of what you would um, be charged in an urgent care or primary care and probably you know a third to a fourth of what you would be charged going to an emergency room. And, and we have had a statistic that we've seen lately that up to 40% of our emergency room visits um, actually do not need to be seen in the emergency room. It's very expensive care and this is very affordable care. So we're serving I think many needs as well as the community uninsured patients who are growing num in number and they can come in and pay $59 and be treated for the sore throat or the urinary tract infection or earache. And that, that $59 um, charge is for people who are not insured. If you have insurance, you are able to use that through yes, the... Yes, we accept all of the insurances except for labor and industry that we take in all of our primary care and urgent care clinics. And so one of the things that I've been thinking a lot about is our it's the economy is is affecting so many people in the way that it has and losing their jobs and um, reducing insurance. This is an option that positions multi-care to maybe help people who can find a way to still be treated and maybe not put off illnesses that can be treated earlier than having to wait until it's a more serious condition that would require emergency room Right, that's treatment. absolutely right because if you can get in and Till some in, before an infection gets really bad, and then you're, um, you know, then you really do have to access the emergency room. Um, it's a really a great, affordable way to come in and take care of some of those illnesses, because we do expect to get busier as possibly more layoffs happen around the community. Let's talk about the electronic medical records because I think that this is an element that. If it was me going into an urgent care clinic or into the express clinics, I might be concerned that that information wouldn't transfer to my primary care physician if I was to, to go in there the next week for follow-up. How, how has MultiCare addressed that and made that communication between all of their clinics seamless? When um you go into, as a patient, come into any of our urgent cares. We have seven up and down the Sound. Uh, we ha up and down in South King County, Gig Harbor, Covington, Lakewood, or come into our primary care, or come into one of our specialists. We have specialists who are uh, employed physicians by MultiCare. And now, recently in this last year, the hospital has also come up. So if you go into the emergency room or are admitted, all of the providers, physicians and mid-levels, which include ARMPs or physician assistants, have access to your record. So no matter where you go around the system, and we're huge, I think we have um, 8,500 employees now, four hospitals, you know, 90 some outpatient locations, you will have that. Um, they will have access to your chart and your provider, your primary care will be able to see anywhere in the system that you've been. It's been a, a significant mm -hmm. investment for the healthcare system. Mm -hmm. It's, um, I know, having been in situations where you're trying to remember where your records might be or whether or not you have immunizations, it's really nice, yes. nice to know that those records follow you. And that does that does include ancillaries, which is your lab and X-ray. So anywhere in our system, getting an MRI or a chest X-ray or a lab draw, oh, that can be blood test. Up. It's all right there. That's wonderful. And you also, on the electronic me medical record, can make your appointment from home. You can actually have access to your lab and radiology information and some other parts of your chart. So uh, that's a great benefit as well. You can look at your own chart from home. So currently there are two express clinics that are in operation in Pierce County. Where are those located? Basically, it's the intersection. It's in the Rite Aid store on 100th. In Lakewood? And, yes, and Bridgeport. Okay. So it's right on that. There's a huge intersection and there's a Rite Aid store. It's in the Rite Aid store. So when you go in, you actually... Civic Avenue, again, a large intersection. There's a Fred Meyer on one corner, a McDonald's, and then the Rite Aid, and we're right inside the Rite Aid store. So very convenient, parking's convenient, 
it's just very convenient. And I know that there's more planned in the future, so we'll keep our eye open mm -hmm. yes, for that. Yes, well, as, as the medical landscape becomes more complicated, we certainly applaud those who are innovators and in providing care to the South Sound community. So thank you for being with us today, thank Dixie. Thank you. Thank you again, Emily. Thank you. Good to be here. And thank you for joining us today. If you'd like more information on any of today's topics or our guests, check out the internet at www.businessexaminer.com forward slash SSBR. Thanks again for being with us and we'll see you again soon for another edition of South Sound Business Report. This has been a production of Clover Park Technical College and CPTC Television. Clover Park Technical College, redefine education.